Screensaver, yeah, let's do it. Um, a lot of people request this song, so I thought I'd do it, and uh, I hope you everybody enjoys it. Um, sorry I make a video in a while. With the pandemic going away and all that, I've been back to playing, and I've been learning a lot of music so I can go on stage and not ma make mistakes, and it's been really great to be back to playing and all that. So I haven't had as much time to do videos, but I promise I'll keep doing them. And uh, thanks for all your support. That definitely helps me motivates me to keep doing the videos uh, so please like subscribe donate comment all those things you can do to help me out so anything you can help build the uh, channel and uh, my motivation for this would be much appreciated but I love reading all the comments and how everybody's learning and all those wonderful things it makes me happy um, so yeah let's get right to the song so basically get my face out of the picture here this is not a really hard song. It's pretty good. It's um, it only has strumming. It doesn't have any crazy finger style, and the guitar is in standard tuning. And the chords are pretty easy. There's no real crazy hard bar chords or stretches or anything like that. So you should be able to do it if you're like kind of beginner going into intermediate level. And it's a great motivator. So if you find the other songs quite difficult on my channel or they're too hard for you, this is a great first one to learn. Start here and go from there. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a tutorial because there's a couple people doing it and they're not covering it exactly how he does it. So hopefully um, I can cover everything exactly how he does it and then you can choose how close you want to be to the actual song or, you know, do it your own way. But it's good to have the option. So let's get right to it. Standard tuning, that means when you tune up the guitar without the capo on, right now, now I have a capo on, the sixth string will be an E string, this will be an A string, the fourth string will be a D string, Third is a G, second is a B, first is an E. After you tune it up, put the capo on the second fret. And like I said in my other videos, try to put the capo right behind the fr that fret. See how you can hardly see the fret? That's how you want to do it. You don't want to put it here or too close to this one. It'll put it out of tune. You'll have to tune the whole thing again, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, you don't want to pull the strings too hard. That being said, usually after I put a capo on, I usually tune it again just to be careful. Because once you're out of tune, nothing matters. It just kind of ruins. you got to be in tune. It's just the way it is. And also important to note that when he did the live stream, he did it without a capo on. So if you're listening to the live stream version, you learn the video here with the capo on, it sounds different. That's the reason why. Um, and you can very easily just take the capo off and do it exactly like that. It's up to you. It depends on if you're singing and what key you like better, if you own a capo, all sorts of things. Just so you know. I'm going to teach it with a capo on the way the original recording is. If you like the live stream and you want it to sound like that, a little lower, do it without the capo on. But that's how that goes, so nobody's confused. And uh, let's get right to the song. So basically the intro is kind of the trickiest part, as usual. If you can learn the intro, you can pretty much do the rest of the song. Um, there's not many two new chords in it. and. Um, he repeats the chords so many times, it just changes how he does it. He stops drumming, he drums harder, he's quieter, all these kind of things. So let's get right to it. And remember, if you get frustrated in the intro, don't worry. You can move on and do the rest of the song, come back to the intro later because it's so similar to the rest of it. You'll be okay. So anyway, but I'm going to start in the beginning and go to the end. So the first chord is called a B minor 7 chord with the capo on. It's a B minor 7. If you did it without the capo on, it'd be down here and it'd be an A minor 7 but I'm going to call it by the key it's in. If you don't know what that means, that's okay. I'll just show it to you. So uh, basically, is it going to look, let me make sure, okay, everything's good there. It's going to look exactly like a C chord. If you know what a C shape kind of cowboy chord is, regular old C, it's exactly like that, but you take off your third finger. That's what it is, and you don't strum this string. Now, if you don't know what that means, I'll give it to you piece by piece. So this string you don't play. This string is open, the fifth string. The fourth string, your second finger, goes in the fourth fret. The third string is open. The second string, your first finger, goes in the third fret. And then the first string is open. And that's the first chord. It's called a B minor 7. Not, not too hard. And the first strumming pattern he does, he just goes down, down, up. And uh, mm, before I get started with the, all the strumming, I want to let you know the main strumming he does in the entire song, if you want to get prepped for that, just on this first chord, is down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Those 
those are the chords in the song. So get used to doing that. It's it's a three count. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Down, down, up, down, up, down. You can do that even without a chord. Just get used to that. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. That's going to be the basis for all the strumming in the entire song. And going back to the intro, go back to that chord. Down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. So in the beginning, he kind of starts, it sounds like he pressed record and he just went, hmm, how's this go? And then he went, okay. So exactly what he's doing is he's going down, down, up. Then down, down, up, up. That's exactly what he's doing. You don't have to do it exactly like that, but just to let you know how he's doing the recording. Down, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down. And that's the next part on that down. From there, he goes down, down, up, down, up. That's the pattern we worked on. Then the second time he does that, he goes down. And then when he does the down, up, down, up part, he takes off his second finger. Now it's just your first finger. What an easy chord. I'm sorry. So from the beginning, down, down, up, down. One more time, really slowly. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So on the last down, up, down, up, he takes that off. If all that strumming is really confusing for you, it's okay. You can just do this pattern the whole time. Just go down, down, up, down, up, down. So if you did it that version, it would be down, down, up, down, up, down. Moving on, the next part is a D chord, which is great because that is exactly like this first chord we were just doing, but you put your third finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string, right there where that dot is. Remember when you fret notes, try to go right behind the fret. Don't go in the middle if you in the behind if you can if you can. You always want to go right behind. That's how you get the best sound and you won't get any buzzing sounds. From there, he strums the same pattern. Down, down, up, down. And then he does a hammer the next three times. What did I do right there? That's a technique I've talked about in my other videos, but to go over it again, you start with that shape that we're learning for this chord, that C shape, take off your second finger, and you start with your finger off. Right after you strum, you strum with it off, and then you hammer on the, on the fret to make that sound. Getting a good hammer is about being fast and accurate. You have to use some strength, but it's not about, uh, you're not like muscling it on there. If I press hard, it doesn't get a sound. It's about, if you hit it fast enough, anywhere, you can get a sound fast and accurate. Don't want to be all smudged right. You want to go right on the fret. It takes some practice, but this is a good way to learn it. This is one of the easier hammers. So he starts without it, and he hammers on that note. And then after that, it's the same. So down, down, up, down, up, down. It's kind of like a hammer, down, up, down, up, hammer, down, up, down, up. And then the next chord, don't worry, I'll go over the beginning part again. The next chord, you're going to keep your third finger, your ring finger, right where it is. Take off your first and second finger. Now move your second finger over to the fifth fret of the sixth string. So now you have your second and your third finger. The second finger's on the fifth fret of the sixth string, third finger is also on the fifth fret of the fifth string. And that's a great chord, it's a really cool sounding chord, it's not very commonly used, and it just strums all the strings, nothing really crazy there. It's the same strumming pattern, he does that four times. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's the next part. So the next chord, the best way to learn this one is it looks exactly like that D chord. That's the second chord we learned, except you keep your first finger where it is. Your second and third fingers are going to go one string that way together, from there to there. So what is that exactly? This don't play it. Fifth string is open. Uh, fourth string is third finger on the fifth fret. Third string is second finger on the fourth fret. And second string is first finger on the third fret. And then the... 
uh, first string is open. He does that twice. Then he does it two more times, but now he puts his pinky down on the fifth fret of the first string. Whew. Okay, so that's the whole intro. Remember, don't fret. If this intro is difficult for you, it's okay. The rest of the song uh, is much easier. So if this is confusing, you can kind of skip ahead, do the rest of the song. But I suggest trying the intro at least first so you can get the basic strumming and the, and the chords down because those chords are used so much in this song. So, from the beginning, off, D, e, hammer, hammer, next chord, next chord, pinky, and uh, just a little bit of information now that you've learned all those chords, this first one is called B minor 7. Important to know these because I'm going to refer to them later. This next chord, the second chord we learned is a D. The next chord, the really easy one down here, it's called an A add two. <laughs> That's right, fancy name but not hard to play. And the next one is called a G major seven. Cool. Now let's go to the verse. We'll call it the A section. Um, what goes on here is he basically just does those these same chord progression over and over and over again. First, I'll show you the chord progression, then I'll show you how he changes the rhythm with the strumming. Don't worry, it's not very hard. So the first chord in this chord progression is yay, it's exactly like the first chord we learned. It's that B minor 7. That C shape where you take off this one, the first one we learned. Plays that. The next chord is the second chord we learned. <laughs> so you put it's the same one, except now you put your third finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string. The next chord is, you guessed it, exactly like the next one we learned. So now you keep your third finger where it is, take your first and second off, move your first finger over to the fifth fret of the sixth string. I know I'm talking really fast, but that's because I already went over this in the intro part. Then the next chord he does is a new chord, but it's really easy if you already know this one. You take these and you move them up one, two frets. So you were having your second finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string and your third finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string. Now you move them up two frets, so now you're on the seventh fret. Second finger's on the seventh fret of the sixth string, right there, and then the third finger is on the seventh fret of the uh, fifth string. So from here, it's a cool sound. This is your A add two, and the new chord that we just learned is called an A over B. So, now that we know that, let's go through this part. This is the verse where he starts singing. So, he starts like this. He plays it once, the first chord once, B minor 7. Just like that, and stops. You can stop it with your left hand, like that, or you can stop it with your right hand. Or if you're a lefty, it would be opposite. Picking hand. I like to stop it with the picking hand. I just take my hand and move right there. Make it short. We call that a short note. Then after that, he hits the guitar. He goes like this. Everybody knows how to hit something. <laughs> so just I just like, you can do it however you want. It's not be too picky about it. You can use your knuckles or something. Don't hit it too hard. You don't want to put a hole in it. But make sure you hit the wood, not the strings. That's a different sound. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Next chord, D chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then he goes to that next chord, the A, add four. And he strums. And he goes to that next chord, we go up to, and he strums again. Then the second time, he does the same thing again, but without the hit. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, strum. Then the next time after that, I know I'm going through this really fast, but it repeats itself so much, I just want to plow through and, and uh, you know, you can stop the video and go back if you need it. So the next time after that, this is the third time, same thing, but now he just strums on every chord. No more hits. Just strum. Uh, down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, Then he goes back to the hits again. No, the hits, by hits I mean like that, not a hit like that. 
He doesn't smack the wood this time. It's just one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then he strums on this chord, but he does it twice as long. He doesn't go to this chord this time. Just. And uh, after that, he goes back to the. Actually, you know what? Let me play that far. Now that we're into the verse part, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, next chord. Go up, do it again, but no hit. Two, one, five, two, three, four, five, six. Now you strum through the whole thing. Now the hits again. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. This chord, and you stay on it. Cool. Now uh, he goes back to again, again, back to his first chord again. Does a hit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then D again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then he strums in the next chord, just like all the other times. This time he goes to this. G major 7, we learned it in the intro. It was the last chord in the intro. Since it's been a while, I'll show you how to do it again. So this string, play nothing. This string is open. Fourth string is third finger, fifth fret. Third string is second finger, fourth fret. Um, second string is first finger, third fret. And first string is open. And he strums just the same way on that. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So let's do that new part right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Strum. New chord, G major seven. Then he does the hits again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hit. Two, three. Back to the strum. Then he moves up. Remember that chord? It's the same thing. We moved up. That's what he does that time. It's the same thing over and over again. And then he does two times. Well, he just does this one strumming, second chord strumming, D, and then the A adds four strumming, it stays there. Here's the second time. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, six, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Nice, congratulations, you just learned most of the song. If you've gotten this far, you're doing really good. Um, that's what we'll call the A section, or some people would call it the verse. I like to use letters because you can just keep adding letters forever, and verses and bridges and all that stuff gets confusing if there's too many parts. So here is the B section. This is where he sings, and it's you. Right on the word you, he plays this chord, which is a really cool and not that common chord. My guitar is still kind of in tune. It's OK. For the sake of teaching, we'll just keep it the way it is. Um, I love this chord. It's very rarely used, and it's really cool that he decided to use it. So what it is is this sixth string. Don't play it, as usual. And now the fourth, uh, fifth string is open. Fourth string is also open. This is probably the weirdest chord in the song. Then the third string, your third finger is on the fifth fret. And then on the second string, your pinky is on the fifth fret. And then on the first string, your first finger is on the third fret. Interesting thing is he doesn't do a hit or strum in this one. He just plays it and holds it for two whole counts of six. And it's you, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> and then he uh, sings in, the, in that section, he sings, I didn't think... Um, I didn't think that I'd have to say. And when he says the word say, he goes back to the first chord we ever learned in the song, the B minor 7. And by the way, he's doing this part very quiet. In the recording, it sounds like he's doing it with his thumb. That's how he gets that nice mellow sound. I've been using a pick in the song because I'm better with the pick. I'm pretty good with the thumb, but I noticed that he does this thing I saw in the live stream where when he strums, he kind of uses his... He's not using a pick, he uses his index finger. It looks like he's using a pick because it has the same kind of shape of his hand, but he's not. He's not holding a pick, he's doing this, and he's strumming. I mean, I'm okay at it, I just don't really like doing it that much. Um, but it's up to you, and I don't think that he really even plans these things. I think he's just kind of having fun with it, and he decided to do it like that. 
But the reason I'm pointing that out is because sometimes he switches from strumming like this to strumming like nice and quiet. If you know their song really well, which you probably do if you're watching this video, you'll hear that and that's how he's doing it. He's strumming with his thumb. What I do is I've created my own thing. This is up to you whether you want to do this or not. When I want to be loud, I have a pick held and I strum. I get really loud like that. And then when I want to switch to my thumb, I actually put the pick between these two fingers. There's so many, so many ways to do it. I knew, a, I knew a, I used to have a guitar teacher that could somehow go like that with his pick, with his thumb. I don't know. I still can't do it. But, Or you can just put it down, or you can not use your thumb. You can just play really quietly. But it's important to know this part is quiet, and I wanted to let you know that's how he's doing it on the recording. So he plays that first chord. This is in the B section. Two, three, four, five, six. And I didn't think that I'd have to say. And he strums that one and holds it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what he's doing there is he's holding it, and then right before he strums the next part, he does a down up. That sounds confusing. I'll play it. It's easier to understand if I play. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. So one, two, three, one, two, down, up, down. If I didn't count, it would just be down, dun, 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 down, up, down. So, and it's you. I didn't think that I'd have to say. Down, up, down, down. So he's kind of just filling in right here. You don't have to be super specific if you don't want. Like, once again, I think he's just kind of having fun with it, and that's what he happened to do when he recorded at that time. I'm just doing exactly how he's doing it, so you know the difference. But if it's confusing for you, just strum it and fill it as you like. I think that's what he would do. I mean, when you listen to the live stream, he's not even doing the same thing, so. Oops. Stop. Next chord and down, up, down, down. Then you go to the next part, which is back to, this is, we're coming from this chord. We're going right back to the D again. It's the second chord we learned in the whole song. Now he's strumming, but he's strumming quietly with his thumb. That same strumming pattern, but now with the thumb. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. If you're still using a pick and you like using a pick, you can do that. Just strum quietly. Hold the pick really light. That's the key. I can move my hand, hold the pick really light, and it sounds like this. As soon as I just grip the pick hard, it gets louder. You don't have to bang the guitar. Just hold the pick harder. Anyway, but I'll do it with a thumb because that's what he's doing. So down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Then he does it again. Down, down, up, down, up. But the second time he takes off his second finger. He strums it like that. Then he goes to that next chord. Usually the same chord that he goes when he goes from there to there. This is the third chord we learned in the whole song. Fifth fret, these two fingers. You should know it by now. This is the A add four. And he strums that one. Down, down, up, down, up. Um, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. And he holds it. So let's go through that whole part. This is the whole bridge B section. And it's you, that part. And it's you. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five, D chord, strums off the second finger and the next chord and then hold one two three four five six whew and uh don't worry the song doesn't change much after this but the second time he says it's you he does a different chord the first time we did this chord now it's a little different take this exact chord if you remember how it goes this is the right at the top of the bridge the b section we called it and you take off your third finger put your second finger on the fourth fret of the third string and then and I'll show you why in a minute but you're, instead of using your pinky here on the fifth fret of the second string you're gonna use your third finger and there's a reason for that so please use that now um, it looks exactly like a D minor if you already know how to play a D minor in regular tuning that's what it looks like but I'll just give it to you uh, one by one so sixth string don't play it fifth string open fourth string open 
third string second finger on the fourth fret second string third finger on the fifth fret first string first finger on the third fret just like that so and it's you and he strums it and holds it for six counts and it's you two three four five six then he keeps that same exact chord and this is why we add our third finger but you're going to put your pinky on the fifth fret of the first string and he starts strumming then he goes back to a b minor seven that is the first chord we ever learned and he strums there and then he does that hammer again remember that hammer we did in the intro on the second chord we learned he does that but now he does it on the b minor seven so instead of doing it on the d like we did you take off your third finger so you're staying on that first chord we ever learned the b minor seven and you hammer there he does that twice then he goes to a d chord and strums no hammer same thing down down up down up down down up down up then uh, you're gonna take off your second finger strum it um, for a three count one two three and then strum four five six or another three two threes makes a six it's the same thing so here from the D it's down down up down up down down up down up down 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 up down up he goes to that third chord again it's the same kind of progression the same chord progression over and over this is the one where your second and third finger on the fifth fret is six and six sixth and fifth strings excuse me and he strums that this is where it's a little different he strums that once one two three four five six so he counts for three counts it's one two three and then four five six down 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 one two three four five six and then it's down, 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 down. What am I doing there? Um, I'm going down, 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 up. Mm, this is, I don't know if that's exactly what I did right there, but this is how he's doing. He's going down, 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 up, and then what the heck is that? I'm cupping the strings, I like to call it muting the strings, just touching them so there's no sound. I'm not pressing anything, just touching the strings so they don't ring. Here they're ringing, now they're not. That sound. And he just plays it so it sounded like a percussive sound. It's kind of like a drum when you do that. So, and then he's saying to a screen, saver. And now he's playing super loud. So if you're holding a pick, you're going to want to start using with the pick again. If you're not, if you're doing the whole thing with your fingers, start using your index finger here. And then you're going to play loud after that. I'm going to use a pick because I don't like using my nail. It tears it up. I don't know. Um, so let's do the whole thing from the bridge, the B section, the first time he says, and it's you. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Drum. Take off the second finger now, A4, and then hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to the B minor seven. And the hammer on. D. Take off the second finger. A4. See how right when you get to that A4, you're going to start practicing. This is the emotional aspect of the song. The dynamics, they call it, which is how loud and how quiet you are. That's the musical term for, you know, turning up the volume. So basically, he starts that whole section really quiet with his thumb. When you get to that last chord, that A4, start getting ready and thinking in your head, how am I going to make this louder? <laughs> I need to build up to the next section. So if you're using your thumb, start using this finger. If you have a pick, just play hard. So I'll go from the D right before it and show what I mean. So here's the D and I'm strumming. I'll do it with the pick this time. Take the finger off. Next chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. See how I just build up to it? It's called a crescendo when you basically like you're turning up the volume louder and louder and louder. That last one. One, two, three, uh, down, 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 down. Now here's an instrumental part. Um, 
and this is when you're just be playing loud. So uh, you got that B minor seven, the first chord we learned, and it's that pattern we know. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. So that's like a six count. He does that twice. One, two, three, four, five, six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the D chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then the A add four again. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then he does the chord we haven't done in a while, where it's the same thing, which you move up two frets to here. And the strum is a little bit different, but it's easier. He goes down, 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 down. does a really weird chord I'm not sure I guess he just felt the moment and he decided to do this but it's it's weird but it's cool it grabs your attention you go same thing that we've been doing first we were down here then we did this shape we're up here on the um, seventh fret now he goes up one fret to the eighth fret and it sounds like this if you've heard the song a lot which you probably have if you're watching this uh, you'll know this part because it stands out and he just does one two So it's down, 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 down. And then we're doing that muting, cupping the strings again. Down, up, down, up. So it sounds like, like a drum. Uh, down, 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 down. So here's the whole instrumental part. B minor 7. D. section is basically uh, we'll call it A2 because it's like the A section we did before which was the kind of like the first verse right after the first time he sang this is the second time he's kind of doing that part um, me and your book if you're listening to lyrics that's what he says right there um, it's the first chord that you ever learned again B minor 7 just strums there we're pretty loud now it's a like 6 count One, two, three, four, five, six. and then you go to a D chord same thing One, two, three. Then you go to an A add four, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you go to that A over B, which is this same chord we just did, but up two frets. That's the first time. The second time he does it, he does the same thing, but he doesn't go up here. He just stays here for both. So here's the second time. Next chord, then A add four, so stay there. And then after that, he plays the B minor 7 again, but it's a hit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, strong. So what he's doing there is usually he goes hit like this, and then he goes hit the D, and then he goes to the A add 4. He skips the D. He just does the hit on the B minor 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no D. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then he goes to the A add 4, the third chord, and he just strums. Twice. Two counts of six, or uh, eight counts of three, if you if you should. But you, you know how this song goes. It shouldn't be that confusing for you. Uh, so let's go up to that part, me and your book. So B minor seven, D, A F four, up two frets to A over B. Same thing again. Four, but he stays there. One, stay there. Now you do a hit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. A at four. Now the next part is uh, pretty easy. It's the kind of the same thing as we did a couple times before. It's B minor seven to D. Back to A at four. He stays there. Then he does a, it's the same progression again, but he's playing a little different here. He does a B minor 7 with a hit, and then he kind of does, remember like we were talking about cupping the strings and doing a mute? He does one of those on the second half of the bar. That sounds confusing, but I'll explain it through playing. What he's basically doing here is going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or you can count in 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 
one, two, three, four. So the first one's short. I stop it with this hand, and then he cups. Then he does the same thing on the D. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then he goes to that A add four. What am I doing there? This is a really cool thing he does. He's playing, um, it's this chord that we know so well, the A add four. He's just playing the bottom part and then stopping and then playing the bottom part again and then right after playing the top part. So it's like. Bottom, bottom, top. They're all downs. Down, 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 down. down. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then he does it again. But without the without the mute. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then this again. Then he keeps that pattern going, but now he's doing it through all the chords. So B minor seven, D, A on four. Then he hits a big B minor seven, and he holds it for six bars. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, four bars. And a whole bar is a six count. So that's um, Spark Inside Me Has Gone in the lyrics. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And there's all singing through that part. I'm not going to attempt to sing it, but you know the part of the song I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, let's go on from there. Hopefully all that made sense. Uh, you know what? Actually, I changed my mind. Let's start from the B minor seven part, and um, where we're doing the stop and the hits, and I'll play it. So it's stop, D, and then again B minor seven, D, A add four, then B minor seven, D. A4, now he goes quiet again and he goes back to the bridge. This is the second. It's kind of like the other one we did um, where you do uh, a D minor chord. Well, it's really an E minor, but it looks like a D minor. Just to review it again, this string is dead. Uh, fifth string is open. Fourth string is open, third string is second finger, fourth fret, uh, second string is third finger, fifth fret, and first string is first finger, third fret. But it's you, it's the lyrics, right? When he says you, he plays this, but it's you. And again, you're doing quiet here. You might want to use your thumb or just strum lightning with the pick. But it's you. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then he plays. B minor seven, the first chord we learn, and just does that first six count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So from from the beginning, it's from the beginning of that section, but it's you, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then he strums. I'm breaking it up a little there. You can if you want, you can just go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. What we've been doing. What he does specifically there is he goes down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Again. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Um <clears throat> we're almost done with the song now. If you've gotten this far, keep going, because the rest is very easy and we're almost done. So then he goes to a D chord and he strums two times, then the A add four, two times, one, two, second time. So let's go that far, straight from, but it's you, but it's you, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, strum right here, back to a D strum. Back to the E minor, but you strum now. And on this next bar, he does that E sus for one half of the bar, so down, down, up, down, up, and then back to an E minor. 
What did I mean by E sus? It's the same thing as the E minor that we've been doing right in the top of this section, but it's U. It's the same chord, but he puts the pinky. We did this before in the song. Puts the pinky on the fifth fret of the first string. So right from that, that's the second time we played the E minor in this section. He strums it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then the pinky down. One, two, three. Take it off. One, two, three. So it's like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then back to a B minor seven. Three, two times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to a D one time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then just like we did another time in the song, take off your second finger. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you go into A add four again and just go down, 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 down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're gonna strum hard again. You can pick up a pick or use your index finger here. So let me play that whole. Uh, we'll call it B2, the second time he plays the bridge, right from where, but it's you. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Back to D, strum. Do it again. A add four. Again. E minor. E sus. Back to E minor. B minor seven. Six. And here is the last part of the song. And this is all stuff we know, so I'm going to go through this part really quickly. And once again, before the video is over, please help me out. Like, subscribe, donate, all those wonderful things. Comment, share with your friends, I don't know, put up flyers, something. Help me out here uh, so I can get this thing going. And I love you guys. It's all been really awesome. This right here, by the way, is my cheat sheet. I'll show you it at the end if you're so interested. So here's the last part, right after the second bridge. Um, it's a B minor 7 again. Shocking, I know. The first chord we did. And uh, I'll just go through it quickly. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 again. D. Again. A add 4. Again. Remember this chord? Now we go up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. What did I do there? So that's the clicky thing again where you mute everything. So he plays that chord where you went up to, going to the seventh fret, done this one before, it's an A over B. He strums it, and then he goes down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, all with the clicky thing. So really slowly it's down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Really slow again. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Not so slow. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Without me talking. From the chord before it, we're gonna go on the fifth fret. Down, 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 down. Um, so let me play that whole section. B minor seven, now we're picking hard again. last part I promise <laughs> well actually you should already know that if you know the song so well so now uh, we go back to that E minor again the same thing we did right it but it's you or and it's uh, well and it's you Ethan actually did a different chord he did this one the E minor uh, you should know this one by now but if you don't this is dead fifth strings open four strings open third string second finger fourth fret second string is third finger fifth fret First string is first finger, third fret. You strum that for a six count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you do the E sus. That's the one where you put your pinky down on the fifth fret of the first string. Do that for a six count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then a B minor seven. First chord we learned. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and he does the same thing, this time slightly new chord, same exact B minor 7, but you put your pinky on the 5th fret of the 1st string, and you strum to, six, strum to a 6 count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then he goes to a D chord, 2nd chord we learned, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and he puts that pinky down on the D chord, this is also kind of a new chord, so it's the exact same chord, D chord, so you put your pinky on the 5th fret of the 1st string, strums that for a 6 count, 1, 2, 3, 4, then the A add 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then the last chord in the whole song is an E minor. So let's do that last part um, right leading up to it. And what I mean by that is right before we get to the E minor, that whole last part I showed you, let's do from here the build up. One, two, three, four, five, six. That part that we were talking about. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, E minor, sus, E minor seven, put the pinky down, D, put the pinky down, A add four, E minor, Yay, congratulations. If you made it this far, you learned the entire song. Anyway, this is the end of the video. Uh, great job you got this far. Congratulations, and I hope you had fun learning it. I had fun uh, learning it. And look at this massive cheat sheet I made of notes, because <laughs> that's how much he changes the song throughout the whole thing. So a couple notes, now that you've learned it or you've gotten this far. Um, a lot of the stuff that he's doing, like the... And then the second time he doesn't do the hit. These are all like little details. If you want to just learn the song, to sing it and play along with it, just learn those chords and learn all the parts and learn the lyrics that go with it. And you don't have to do all those details if you want. You can add them if you want. You can put them in wherever you want. In other words, if there's a part that's strumming and you want to do it instead, do that. It's cool. Have fun with it. That's part of music. You know, it's, it's not. It doesn't have to be super specific, a song like this. It's not like a classical piece or something that's only played really one way. Although it is, that being said, it is cool to learn something exactly like the recording sometimes. It's all up to you and how, what your goal is and, you know, what you want to do with it. But uh, thanks again. Like, subscribe, comment, donate, blah, blah, blah. Help me out. <laughs> and uh, be much appreciated.